Hi and welcome back. In this video we are looking at just starting up Visual Studio Code, nothing exciting, just getting uh, it set up, opening up the folders really for us to work in. Now if you remember from the previous video we said that it is not actually available in the default portable apps folder. And the reason for this is because it's actually been installed as a sub program of Laragon. But not to worry, there are nice ways around it without having to start up Laragon. First way is just to click on the documents here and then go up to the uh, drive root E to get to the shortcut. Of course, you could just use your normal file explorer to get there as well. And once you're there, just double click on the shortcut for it to open. Now remember, this will only work if it is on the E drive, okay? Because the shortcuts are, um, you know, done to the drive letter. So now we've got this uh, up and running. Our next step is to decide on um, how we're gonna go and open up our folder. There are several options. We can go to start here and select open folder. If we've done this before, as you can see, we can select the options there. Um, also, if you've done it before, if you click on this folder icon here, it would already be opened, okay? Visual Studio Code does remember what you were doing before. Um, as you see, it's not there. You can also press open folder here, or finally, at the top, file, open folder. And again, all we need to do is go to the root, okay, of portable apps, go into document, websites, and sites. Now here you have a choice. I strongly recommend that if you are new to programming, new to web design, that you then go into your learning folder and select that folder. Okay. And this way you will only be making and saving files to the learning folder. When you want to work on your own project, you have to go to file, um, close folder, and then open folder. Or in fact, you can actually go to open folder. Uh, select project, okay, and it will close down the learning folder and open up your project folder. Now, the reason why I recommend it that way, rather than doing this, which is going to where both of them are, is simply because when people start up, even though they know that all of their work that they're learning, in other words, the files that you're going to make when you're following me, uh, should be in your learning folder. And all the ones for your own project should be, well, in your project folder. People will get confused and save them in the wrong place because they won't be looking at where um, they're opening and saving their files. So I strongly recommend that you just stick with one folder at a time. Okay. And therefore, I do recommend that you stick to learning. Now, as you can see, there are loads of other things on the top, menu items, as well as some down the side. Uh, all you really need to know at this stage, when we're starting, is this extension one, okay? Uh, I have chosen 23 different extensions to be installed along with Visual Studio Code. It's about half a gig's worth of files. They've all got their own reasons in there, and hopefully we'll get to use them as time goes on, okay? Uh, Beautify is one that makes the, well, beautifies your code and really want you to have the same one as I have so that the code you write and the colors they make will be the same as mine and that make it a lot easier for you to follow along. But in reality, you only really need to know the Explorer icon one, which is this one here at the top. And if you click again, it closes it so you get a bigger uh, workplace area, okay? But to be honest, having it open like that, you should be more than good enough. And uh, that's all it is for this video. In the next videos, we're gonna start making our first file and doing another few bits and pieces. As always, I'll say as always, this is video number two. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. It does help me quite a lot, especially since I'm just starting out. And uh, this is then signing off and see you next time.